first two Rich Gabbo, ten album Bailey by Brian Gabbo. You lost down, Bart. Seven now, thirteen to go. Not really a battle for first and second place. Uh, Bob Duncan driving car 79 came in first, and Bill Somerville driving car number 22nd came 27 rather, sorry, came in second place. And uh, basically the battle was for third when Paul Burke was victorious coming in third place. 
He drives car number 80. Uh, it was good seeing Apples back on the track again. Unfortunately, he was lapped by the first and second place winner. Bob and Bill uh, both lapped Apples, but, uh, well, like they say, better luck next time. Maybe it was just because Apples was involved in that uh, little tie-up at the beginning of the race. And uh, coming up, uh, we're going to see a bomber feature. A lot of great action on that. And uh, going back to Apples Paley, I remember going up to the races years ago and watching Apples and the Tasmanian Toad and Ronnie Gallagher and all them guys out there racing. And they had a great time. They basically ran the track. And now it's a whole new breed, and the new breed's doing even better. We'll be back after this. Body Break with Hal Johnson and Joanne McLeod. When grocery shopping, we should look for foods that are low in fat and high in fiber, such as fruits and vegetables. Packaged foods with good product labeling will provide you with the nutritional information you need to make healthy choices. Whole grain breads and ready-to-eat breakfast cereals are some of the best labeled products in the market today. But what do these labels really mean? There are three major areas to focus on when reading a label. Fat, fiber, and carbohydrates. For example, a product is low in fat if it's between 0 to 5 grams per serving. A good source of fiber ranges from 2 to 3.9 grams, and an excellent carbohydrate is considered 20 grams or more. If only the ingredients are listed on the package, they are in the order from the highest quantity to the lowest. For example, if corn syrup appears first, there's more corn syrup in the product than any other ingredient. Today, manufacturers are providing us with more nutritional information than ever before. It's up to us to read the labels and relate the information to our needs. Good nutritional habits should start at an early age and will benefit you for a lifetime. Hey, Daniel, what kind of foods do you have in there? Low fat, high fiber. <laughs> well, until next time, keep fit and have fun. Body Break. Colorless, volatile liquid intoxicant. Present in wine, beer, spirits, and over 70% of all fatal motorcycle accidents. There was a good turnout last weekend, last Sunday, at the Ham River Raceway. As you can plainly see, lots of people out enjoying the uh, races, the semifinals, and the feature races for both the Bomber and the Sportsman's class. Now, there was a slight tie-up, as you can see there, with Dustin McLeod going into the wall, and uh, Dustin was all right. We'd let, we're uh, proud to report that. And uh, in the infield, you see car number 46, Mike Francis. Now, uh, Mike went on later on in the race, and he won. But the thing was, he was dragging a bumper at the time. Now, uh, how that bumper fell off, I don't think anyone really knows, because it wasn't off when he was on the infield. The winners of the other uh, semifinals, the first Bomber semifinal, went to car number 52, Ron Ingram. Uh, the second semifinal went to car number 5, and that was flying Brian Campbell. And the second Bomber semifinal, of course, went to car number 13, Mr. Kevin Esty. And we'd like to report that Dustin McLeod, who uh, went into the wall, actually into the guardrail, was all right. He later got out of the car and uh, walked around, no broken limbs. So uh, once again, Dustin McLeod was all right in the first sportsman semifinal race. Now, right now, we've got the bomber feature coming up. And one thing you will notice about the bomber feature is that they're running backwards, not really in reverse. Normally, what the cars do is run, and they turn only left. Well, to keep them honest, the officials at the track, every once in a while, will say, well, this race, we're going to run you right. So they can only turn right. That way, when the cars, that, that's so they can't really set up the cars just to go one way. The ha cars have to be honest to run both ways. So let's take a look at that backwards race. One more time, you should get the green this time around. 66. Brian Chase, zero one. Anthony Bator leads the pack. Corey Cassidy, Ron Echol. There he got the green.
Campbell having his trouble. And the 22, gone pit side, flat seeker, left, left, left rear. Car on 
the two on board. I did say. Cassidy on the point. Zero two. Kenny Rye, 52. Ron Inkle, three. Steve McHugh, 20. Roger Bartlett, 13. Kevin Exney, 66. Brian Chase, 91. Lonnie Somerville. Jim Humble Jr. to zero zero. Nine. Alan Grant, 33. John Robichaud, and 24. Danny LeBlanc. You <coughs> must be having a heating problem. Keep it cool off. Back in the track clean and one and two. Zero one's back running again, Anthony Vittor. You get the green this time around. What about this one, Barb? Seven down. Seven down. Eight to go. Seven down. There you got the green. Corey Cassidy. Boston Mini Stock Association. And my big hand, 67, Corey Cassidy beats your winner.
And we'd like to congratulate the winner of that race, number 67, Corey Cassidy, only a young lad. Uh, he's only been driving, he's still a rookie, actually. He's only been driving for uh, a little less than a year, and he's uh, walked off with quite a few races. So congratulations, Corey. And uh, we know we'll see you in the future winning some more races. Coming up on our next show, uh, weather permitting, we're going to have the Mustang Owners Club, as well we'll have some more racing from Hammond River Raceway with the Mini Stocks. A lot of great little cars will be driving around that track, and uh, you never know, I may get out and race one myself. And uh, coming up in two weeks' time, September 22nd, out at uh, Hammond River Raceway, Sunday, it will be the Demolition Derby, as well the uh, final race of the season. And they'll wrap everything up with the ever-popular Demolition Derby at the end of the night. For our producer, Don Ferguson, I'm Dave Hanlon for Fundy Motorsports Magazine. Keep motoring. Welcome to Funny Motorsports Magazine special event on today's program, Stock Car Racing from Hammond River. Hello, I'm Don Ferguson. Hammond River Raceway has just completed their season in stock car racing. Uh, today we're glad to be able to bring you the final two weeks of action in the Bomber and Sportsman Division. First up, let's have a look at races from September the 15th, action in the first preliminary of the Sportsman Division. Now here's our race announcer, Bobby Garnett. Okay, we have Carl Rayburn, Mike Francis. Mike seems to get a, the humpsy dumpsy jump out of her anyway. She's settled down, working a lot better. And Dusty McLeod, Ronnie Gallagher, Steve Rogers, I believe that's Paul Jeff Palmer. We're not sure whether Dusty drives the 71 car or P.P. Paley, otherwise known as Yapples or Apples.
up in the inside of that mic press and it makes them nothing of it. He's staying tight. Yeah, 
here. Almost have lost four points now. We're going to two point lead, right? And Keith Harnish. Keith saved her for me. Get a chance to go the other way, maybe. Of course, he's to unlock the rear end. They have locked rear ends in Moncton, and we don't run them here for good reasons. We don't want them going too fast. Fast enough. For bombers or? Kevin Estee. Body Break with Hal Johnson and Joanne McLeod. Getting together with family and friends is one way to enjoy the summer. And eating meals that are light and nutritious can make you feel better during those days that are hot and humid. And barbecuing turkey is a great way to feed this hungry gang. It's nutritious, low in fat, and you can't beat the taste. We often think of turkey only during the holidays, but it's one of the best meats to have all year round. It now comes in smaller portions, such as wings, breasts, and ground turkey. They're all high in protein, and protein helps develop and maintain strong muscles. Our meal today consists of barbecuing skinless turkey pieces that have been marinated in Italian salad dressing for about 30 minutes. It adds a little zest and additional flavor to the meat. For the kids, we have their favorite, turkey burgers. To complete this meal, carrots and potatoes are half cooked in the kitchen so they barbecue faster, then placed on tin foil along with a little seasoning. Both are carbohydrates and carbohydrates give you energy. This turkey vegetable combo will help these kids grow up strong and healthy. So until next time, keep fit and have fun. Body break. Okay, we have you no know, Anthony Votor, Norris Trevors, Daryl Campbell, Kenny Rye, Corey Gasty, Ron Ankle, Roger Barton, and Alan Grant. Anthony Votor, he started out good last time and then quit. Kenny or I had the same problem. He started out and died, but we shall we make it this time. Meanwhile, Norris Trevor, he won the first race. His car 50, old car 50, actually he's only here one day. He has to run under his points. Yes. 
Cassidy. Daryl Campbell out of the turn. Corey Cassidy goes to the high side. Norris Rivers. Campbell, Trevors, Cassidy. In low, Corey Cassidy. Whoa, a 360. Right in front of Ron Hinkle. Check the shorts on that one. And it is Daryl Campbell, Norris Trevors, Ron Hinkle. Alan Grant, Roger Bartman, and Kenny Rye. Began for Daryl Campbell. Ray Cale missed a feature a couple of weeks ago, same way, and he runs an automatic. All right. Uh, we'll find out Keith Harnish makes it this time. He's going left, but he doesn't have a locker in. I'll tell you, when they're locked up and they're going, they really fly up there. Frank Moore is driving 34. Here's your big chance, Randy or Scotty. Give it to him, the big black one. Look at that. Scotty's not even waiting for a long time. Could be the day. Could be the day. Who's your head? You want to get the black one? Who's good buddy, Scotty Gilmore? Yeah, he definitely looks a little bit bigger than Randy. ahead of Steve McHugh, he needs to move up. Kevin Estee, Ricky Moore, Danny LeBlanc, Brian Chase, John Robertson, Maynard Hamilton, Jim Humble Jr., Steve McHugh, and Steve Harding. Great, great action there in the bomber division. Tight battle building between car 00 Jim Hummel Jr. and car 3 Steve McHugh. We're going to see a little bit more of that competition, but first let's have a look at the first of the twin 30s in the sportsman division. Okay, here we go. On the point, Al Snellgrove from Moncton. Carl Rayburn, Mike Francis. Uh, Yapples Bailey driving the 71 boys. Or Dusty McLeod. Looks like it's Apple red shirt, Ronnie Gallagher, Steve McHugh, Ray Kale, Les Lamb, Brian Campbell, Rick Casual, and away we go. Oh, he comes out and runs in the side of Carl Rayburn. Look at Bailey trying to go over the hall. Oh, Apple just runs in the back of my Francis severely. Hard to go through, no? Uh, Apple's making his chance to get a 
Manual Motor on the point. Alan Arkelly. Norris Trevor. Daryl Campbell. Kenny Rye. Corey Cassidy. Ron Ankle. Roger Parker. Alan Grant. Kevin Esty. Ryan Shake. Danny LeBlanc. John Robertshaw. Randy Moore. Maynard Howell. Steve McHugh. Jim Huckle Jr. And Keith Harnish. Bundy Cable. Especially modern as they see it. Well, I can watch what's going on here in and out at the same time. You don't even have to look up there. Oh, no, I'm looking at it. All right, the Flagler Scotty Film Warden getting ready to get them ready to come around together. Come yeah. Facebook side. Get crowded. Sorry about the new movie. Here we go. And they get the green flag. Alan Arkelly pulls a hammer.
Here it comes. 